at East Coast College in Great Yarmouth, functional skills tutor Liam Alderton has been using digital technology to enhance his maths and English teaching on apprenticeship programmes. Key to his success is the support he received as a member of a professional exchange network funded by the Education and Training Foundation. These networks provide an opportunity to work with other practitioners when developing the use of technology. With this support, Liam has been able to plan more engaging, interactive lessons for his students, as well as offer an effective blended learning delivery model. We've used digital technology in a number of ways in the classroom. Everything from online resource storage sites through to interactive videos, interactive websites, worksheets, quizzes and in classroom games. Actually seeing the learners start to look forward to certain aspects of the session really does make it worthwhile and it really is good to see that this sort of technology can make it less daunting, less, less of a barrier to learning. These apprentices all have jobs and the employers are quite keen not to have them out for great swathes of time. We only have them maybe an hour, two hours a week. Using the digital technology, they've been able to access these things on their phone or their tablets or on the bus on the way to work. So it means that they can access the materials all the time. It allows us a lot more flexibility in how we deliver, which for apprentices and especially adult learners is vital. Whilst the use of digital technology offers new teaching and learning opportunities for Liam and his students, there are also wider gains for the college. The key benefits for us and for Liam embracing the technology are the flexibility that it allows and actually from someone that's having to look at our resource it just saves money. Saved on printing, travel costs, time costs, most importantly achievements which happen in a timely manner so we maximise our funding. Some of the software that we use we can set a homework task. In many cases we can set it so the computer marks it so they do it from home they can get instant feedback on how well they've done. As a tutor, I can see if they've accessed the worksheet from home and I can see if they've any problems. So it's much more interactive and it gives me much more kind of raw data that I can use. With the technology and the interaction, it engages you more, so you do enjoy the classwork more. You're more of a sponge, you just take it in. It's more enjoyable because you can interact with everybody else, you can compete against everyone else. There's lots of different revision materials you can use, you can go back to everything that you've done in class. I think it's a brilliant way of learning, I do really enjoy using technology to learn. The best thing about the digital tools is they are all designed to be completely user-friendly. You can take a fairly dull paper-based resource and create a really interactive, really fun, really well-designed classroom activity. You don't need any sort of special skills at all, they are designed for the novice to use. It's not going back to scratch and rewriting a whole curriculum or a whole course. It is about taking what already works and finding new, sort of updated ways of doing it. It's 2018. The times have moved on. If we can do this in a cheaper, faster, more effective way that benefits the learners, that gives the tutors more time to do the bits of the course that they need to do, then it's a win-win situation. If you want to learn more about the use of digital technology in maths and English teaching, take a look at the range of CPD opportunities offered by the Education and Training Foundation. Like Liam, you can join a professional exchange network which supports practitioners by working together to develop and share their skills in new aspects of their teaching. The Foundation also offers one-day courses and online modules which focus on the use of digital technology. For more information, please visit the ETF website and contact the specialist lead for maths and English in your region.